In this screen video, I'm going to show you how I can make the CMYK image printable with spottings in Flexo. First, I set up my minimum dots on this panel so I get an accurate preview from the plugin during the entire workflow. I click on Process to get to the working panel of Retouch Express. Here, um, first you gotta create at least one retouch group by selecting one or more layers. Now I check my CMYK plates one by one because obviously these will be my source channels for my new spot plates. I go to separations and click on triplex. That's an automated feature that simplifies and greatly decontaminates CMYK plates. Only in the shadow area you may want to clean out some magenta which can be quickly done thanks to the breakout function of this plugin. With the print simulation view on you can detect where hard edges come out later on the press. I mask out the breakout action to keep its effect only where I really need. Then I go to the black plate and repeat the pre-cleaning process that I applied for the magenta plate. Again with the help of the breakout function. So once I got my process plates clean somewhat, I can go on and convert them to spot channels. I click on new spot channel, use cyan and black as the source channel and I uh, pick a nice pantone green for the melon ring. Then I turn on black temporarily as an underprinting ink under the pantone green. I create my second spot plate now, using magenta and black this time as a source channels, and pick Pantone 185 red. It appears in my channel list. Finally, I change my original process yellow plate to a spot yellow. As you can see, our process plates are empty now. My image is made of three spot channels. Next step is fine tuning the Pantone green by adding a clean layer. Here the plugin enters into quick mask mode and you can assign the areas you want to clean by painting into the image using the brush tool. I repeat the same step on Pantone 185. You can make multiple clean layers and turn them on and off as you like. Again, the same cleaning process for my Pantone Yellow. And I'm basically done with this image in only 4 minutes, preserving all plate informations in a non-destructive way. So when I get some comments from my customer to change this or that, I won't panic because all details stayed fully editable on my process and spot plates as well.